today I'll be upgrading my 12 inch 2002 Camaro brakes to C5 Corvette brakes. They're 13 inch rotors and a slightly bigger caliper, which of the same design. I'm gonna leave my rear brakes alone. Yep. Here you can see one of the main reasons I changed changing the brakes over is that it won't allow the wheels to go full lock. With the Hellwig sway bar right here, it runs into the caliper. And these are uh, LS calipers. I, mean, I could have ground them down, but that would have been the wrong thing to do and it wouldn't have come out right. Well, uh, here's a comparison of the two systems. The rotor is one inch bigger. The caliper is different. You can bleed it on either end. It's a universal caliper. But the pads are the same, and uh, for all intents and purposes, the caliper is the same too. So really the only thing you get out of this system is a bigger rotor and different placement, so I won't have problem with the uh, sway bar. Oh, and the big key difference is those are stock drum hubs and they fit with the rotor versus 12 inch rotor on the LS brakes requires a hub that's been turned down. Kids, don't try this at home, but this is what happens when a freaking company sells you a product that they say is bolt on. And it's not. They sold me a 5 8 bolt. As you've seen pictures in earlier, it clearly doesn't fit my stock spindles. So now I'm going to have to drive my happy ass to the hardware store to get half inch dash 20 bolts fit the brackets without any front brakes. I mean I still got my rear brakes but I, mean, I don't have a choice. Am I going to walk four and a half miles to the hardware store? I got to do laundry later today you know. This isn't just a project it's an actual car I drive every day. Sometimes you know parts vendors forget that shit. They think it's just a fucking hobby. Anyhow I'll let you guys know how it turns out when I come back from the hardware store. I'm back from the outer parts store. I got a couple of bolts that are threaded right, but obviously they don't fit because where it's supposed to be, it's uh, tapered. So I have to make a shim of some sort. Just got off the phone with customer service from Classic Perform, and uh, surprise, surprise, told me to fuck off. He says they don't have any half inch bolts, they won't send me any. And he says you should make a shim or buy the right spindle. Buy the right spindle. This is a stock spindle for 68 fiber. Why the fuck would I buy another one if this is advertised as bolt-on? Anyhow, oh and surprise surprise, they also refused to change their listing stating that it's required for a 5 8 upper anchor bolt and if you have any other one that it's not a bolt-on. They, they won't change their listing, they won't refund you the money and they won't send you the right parts, they just tell you to F off. So uh... There's another seller that sells these same, you know, Chinese made calipers and all that. It's not a bad kit, it's just customer service is horrible. He sells them for cheaper actually with hubs. And uh, definitely the better guy to go with. This is my second bad dealing with classic performance and never again. Horrible people. Sure it's a lifetime warranty, but warranty's only as good as the person making it. And there ain't no good at all. Alright, I installed the hub, and another nasty surprise, the bearings they included, on top of being cheap Chinese bearings, did not have bearing races. I had to take the races out of my old hub, put it in this new hub, because I couldn't just reuse my old hub, I'm saving that for my 67 Tempest. And uh, I made a conical shaped washer, I took a really thick lock nut washer and cut it at a 45 degree angle put it in this nut and cut the, or put it under this bolt cut the bolt down to size torqued it down pretty good the bracket's not going anywhere and this is uh... so far so good and I just gotta install the caliper and the hoses and everything else 
Well, there's my little helper. It's because you hi. Hi. I installed the brakes. Yeah, Calipers, rotors. Everything. And uh, they cleared the 17 inch wheels that I may wind up using on this car. And I know for a fact they clear, you know, 18 inch wheels. But uh, all in all, except for the two Dad, things, you know, the lack of bearing races, and, and the wrong bolt, and horrible customer service. They do it on smoothly. I'll uh, try it out on the road in a minute. It's on. It's a uh, pretty close fit, even with 18 inch wheels. There's no way it'd fit on 16 or 15 inch wheels at all. But these are 13 inch rotors. Practically the same caliper as the, uh, the Chevy Camaro 2002 from 98. Just a little bigger rotor, and it places it in the back, which then does not in any way interfere with my sway bars. So, overall I'm pretty happy, but... I'm not happy with classic performance, that's for sure. Other people sell these brakes and I recommend you buy it from them.